In year three, we use one written method to multiply with, which is the grid method. This extends their learning from year two, where they would multiply on a number line. We will go through the method step by step using our steps to learning to help us. The first step is to read the question. 34 times 3 equals. We can now tick that off. The next step is to partition. So we need to partition 34 into tens and ones. So that becomes 30 and 4. We are also multiplying by 3. So the 3 goes in this part of the grid. So we've partitioned and we've written the numbers in the grid. Now we need to multiply. So we'll begin by multiplying 3 times 3. 3 times 3 equals 9. Now we can move on to 3 times 0. 3 times 0 equals 0. Meaning that 3 times 30 equals 90. Now we can move on to multiplying the ones. 3 times 4 equals 12. We can tick that off our steps to learning. Now we need to combine our answer. We will combine it using the expanded column addition. However, some children may combine their answer by adding mentally. So adding 90, add 12, which would equal 102. We're going to go through how we would do this using the expanded column addition. First of all, I would put my numbers into the correct columns. Then I would begin by adding the ones. We always add from the right. So 0 add 2 equals 2. Now I'll move on to adding the tens. 90 add 10 equals 100. I'll write this directly underneath. Now we combine these two answers together. So 2 add 0 equals 2. 0 add nothing equals 0. And 1 add nothing equals 1. So our final answer is 102. So we've combined. Now we need to check. 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times 0 is 0. 3 times 4 is 12, and when we combine these together, we get 102. We teach four methods of multiplication in Year 4. Moving on from the grid method in year three to the expanded and compact column methods. Firstly, let's take a look at our learning objective. To be able to multiply a three digit number by a single digit. I'm going to take you through two methods today that will help you achieve this learning. Our number sentence says 234 multiplied by three. And we're going to use our steps to learning to help us solve this calculation. The first step is to write the numbers in columns. As you can see, I've already written the calculation out 234 multiplied by 3. Each digit is in its own square and this helps to keep the numbers neat in columns. My next step is to leave three rows. This is because we are multiplying by a three digit number. So one, two, three rows. I now need to draw my answer lines. Doing this with a ruler helps to keep our learning neat. Next, we need to start multiplying. As you are aware from previous learning, we always start from the right. We are going to start here in the ones column. So four multiplied by three equals 12. 
So the 2 goes in the 1s and the 110 in the 10s column. We then move on to the 10s column and I have 3 10s which is 30 multiplied by 3. 30 multiplied by 3 equals 90. So I'm going to write my 9 in the 10s and 0 in the 1s. The next column is the 100s. I have 200 and I'm multiplying this by the 3. 200 multiplied by 3 equals 600. So the 6 I write in the 100s. I have 0 10s and I have 0 1s. My next step is to add each column. Starting at the right in the 1s. 2 add 0 add 0 equals 2. 1 10 add 9 tens equals 10 tens. So I put a 0 in the tens and I carry the 100 across. In the hundreds column, I don't have any hundreds here. I have 600, add the 100, makes it 700. Have, have I added each column? Yes, I have. Did I need to carry? Yes, I did. My final step is to check. 2 add 0 add 0 equals 2. 1 10 add 9 tens equals 10 tens. And 600 add the 100 gives me 700. 234 multiplied by 3 equals 702. And I can tick the final step off. The second method I'm going to share with you uses the same number sentence. But this time I'm going to demonstrate the compact multiplication method. The first step is to write the numbers in columns. Again, I have already written the calculation out with each digit in a square to help keep the numbers in neat columns. My next step is to draw the answer lines. Doing this with a ruler helps to keep our learning neat. Next, we need to start multiplying. As you are aware, we always start from the right. We are going to start here in the ones column. Four multiplied by three equals 12. So I write the two in the ones column and I carry the 10 underneath. Three tens multiplied by three equals 90. Add the 10 underneath equals 100. So I write the zero in the tens and I carry the 100 underneath. 200 multiplied by three equals 600. Add the 10 underneath is 700. Did I multiply from the right? Yes. Did I need to carry? Yes, I did. The final step is to check. 4 times 3 equals 12 to carry the 10. 30 multiplied by 3 equals 90. Add the 10 equals 100. 0, carry the 100. 200 multiplied by 3 is 600. Add the 100 underneath, 700. Following these steps to learning, you will be able to achieve the learning objective of being able to multiply a three digit number by a single digit using the expanded and compact methods of short multiplication. You will then be ready to extend your learning further by using long column multiplication.